Just looking for attention, aren't you? It looks wise. And those are tool-using paws. Are you sure it's not more intelligent than us? And you both... That Archon. Arrogant son of a bitch. Maybe that's redundant for a cat. He's also the first cat who bothered to talk to us. That's useful intel. True. They can communicate. They just prefer to open fire. So, what else is new? See you later, Cora. I'll be here. Is there something else? A few more questions, if that's okay. Mm, well, we won't know till we try. I want to learn more about your species. What would you like to know? You studied with Moshe Sefa. Is she a teacher or a religious figure? She's many things. She's a clear thinker with deep knowledge and insight. She teaches and... Beloved, I love her. Really? So one of those professor-student things? <laughs> no, uh, not that way. Moshe Sefer is 115 of your years old. How long have you had electromagnetic capabilities? How do they evolve? No idea. Biology doesn't interest me, but I'm sure you can easily read up on it. That's disappointing. No biology at all? How do your eyeballs work? Okay, I get your point. Maybe I can find an Angara doctor to ask about your... whatever. Although, I used to know some facts, like the origins of our vestigial organs. Oh yeah, humans have a coccyx, a vestigial tail. And I have webbed toes, just a couple, but Sarah doesn't. And she had wisdom teeth, but I didn't. Now you. No idea. The Angara seem so open and free with their feelings. Are we? Hmm. We're certainly not ashamed of our feelings. We're taught that feelings and beliefs should live on the outside, where they can be dealt with, honestly and openly. Don't people get hurt? Of course. Then everyone deals with it. That's the point. How many colonies do you have? On what planets? Since the Scourge, we've managed to survive on a small number of planets. What we know from before the Scourge is mostly oral history. We did have spaceflight, and the stories tell of five original colonies. Is there a central Angaran religion? There are many variations. An almanac could give you an accurate number. But if you are a believer, the essential tenet is, after we die, we are reincarnated. We evolve. 
to make our families strong. Born from what was before, blessed to be better than before. Are you a believer? No. Mm, yes. <laughs> Sometimes. I don't know if it's the same for humans. Sahuna, my true mother, is a firm believer. Well, enough about that. Can you tell me more about the cat occupation? It's a difficult subject. I'll answer what I can. I may get emotional. What's living under the cat been like for you? Do you really want to hear about these things? They're painful. I asked, didn't I? It's like living on unstable ground. Every day brings more horrible news. I part company with someone not knowing if I'll ever see them again. When I was a boy, my father vanished from my life. One horrible day. Was he in the resistance? No. He was a technician at a mine. He went to work and didn't come home. That happens for an Angara child somewhere, every single day. When the cat came, why didn't you fight? They didn't give us a reason to. Until they did. Then it was too late. Perhaps you think we were weak. But the cat are ruthless. They are masters at knowing exactly when and how to strike. I get that. Believe me. Have the cat always been here? No. Some, like the Morshai, are old enough to remember the time before the cat. But I don't. Nor do my mothers. And the Archon came with them? We think so. Resistance intel on that is unclear, and few have seen him in person. And lived to tell? And lived to tell. Well, enough about that. I'll see you later, Jal. Stay strong and clear. Aya is a wonder writer, and the Angara are so interesting. I hope we make it back. I want to delve and explore and who knows what else. We'll be back. We need the Moshai if we're to get into their vault. Oh, I'm definitely sticking around long enough for that. I have to admit, when you invited me to your apartment, I thought you might be luring me there for something else. You thought, or you hoped? I might have been hoping. That hope had crossed my mind as well. If Kalinda hadn't intruded, who knows what might have happened. Is there more about Kalinda you want to share? Back home, she was upper crust. An ambassador, respected, living the high life, but miserable. Not built for royalty, she said. With her position, the initiative sought her out as a first contact specialist. First wave out of stasis. Kalinda was the one who got me thought out early. I'm still grateful for that. But things went south soon. She hurt me. Pretty badly. What happened? Oh, let's not drum up that sob story. It's all water under the bridge. Thanks for chatting. We'll talk again later. You know it.
Hello, Scott. Thanks, Sam. Nothing more. 